In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Stop Motion Studio app and the Stop Motion Animator in the Chrome Web Store. I like Stop Motion Studio best, so we'll start with that one. After downloading the free version of the app, open it up and click New Movie. From here, you'll want to decide how many frames per second you want to have in your stop motion animation. You can decide this by moving the bar at the bottom. And, I, and to get to this, I clicked on the little wheel. I'm going to recommend you start with about 10 frames per second. Now there are other settings that you can change here. Like you can fade in from black or fade out. You can determine the, the size ratio of your screen. And there's a lot of extra features you could get if you want to upgrade to the paid version instead of the free version of this app, which I believe is $4.99 to make the upgrade. I have not upgraded myself and I don't think that you need to, to just get started with this. Now some other things that you can play with are you can take on or off the grid that you see. I like having the grid on. And also at the top you can change how many frames previously you see. This is called the onion skin and you'll see once I get started what this means by being able to see the frames you've already taken. See this here? I have it set on three. So the three frames prior to the frame I am on will show. And this will help me do my stop motion animation. Every time I'm ready to take a new shot for a new frame, I just click that red button. And you can see that I am taking many shots and I'm not moving my object very much between the shots so that it is a smooth flow. When you're finished and you're ready to play it, you hit the play button and then you can watch your stop motion at any time. You also have the ability to go back and delete any frames using this app. So if you make a mistake, you don't have to start over completely. Just hit the back arrow button and then you'll be able to see each of your individual frames along the bottom. And you can touch one of them and then you can insert, edit, cut. There's a whole bunch of different things that you could do. And there's so much that you can play with on this app that I'm not going to address in this very beginner tutorial. I'm going to go back and play one other example of a stop motion animation that I made. And while you watch this, I want to clarify that if you can keep your camera stable, and keep it so that it does not move by putting it in some kind of mount, that's going to be really helpful. That way the only thing that moves is your object. Also, keep in mind you can change your frames per second at any time. So if you decide after watching the playback that you don't feel like your video is smooth enough and you wanna speed it up more, you can still do that after you're finished recording everything. This is the same video now made faster. Now that short video is 120 frames. My students to earn their credit for this have to have at least 100 frames in their videos. When you're finished, what you need to do to save this is to hit the select button and then select the video that you want to save. Then you go to the up arrow and click export movie. From there, you can save the video to your device and you can also save it directly to your Google Drive if you have Google Drive installed as an app on your device. So I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna save here to my device. So I'm saving it to my photos. And then you'll see in just a minute how to save it to the drive. Okay, so here, if I want to save a video to my drive, I go to the same, same up arrow after selecting it, and I go to my Google Drive app. I then have to click on the destination, which is, again, my drive, and then I click Upload. From here, I'll be able to then turn it in. 
All right, now if all you have to work with is your Chromebook, have no fear. Now I'm gonna show you how to use Stop Motion Animator available in the Chrome store for free. In your Google search bar on your Chromebook, you're going to search for Chrome Stop Motion Animator. And the first result should be the one that you're looking for. This one right here, we're gonna click Add to Chrome. Add app. All right, and now we can see Stop Motion Animator right here. Click on that to open it up. Okay, here we are. Now, in here, what you're gonna need to do is um, click the Capture button for each picture that you want to take. Now, setting up a space to create your stop motion animations is going to be really important. And I'll show you how I'd recommend that you set this up. But I just want to first just explain how some of these buttons work. Let's pretend like I'm going to make a quick video of this just moving along. OK, so capture. Now, look, you can see it's got the onion skin already on, so it's going to show a little bit of what was before. Just going to keep hitting capture. Okay. All right. I mean, that's nothing fancy, but let's just play that. Okay, so you get the basic idea, I hope, by seeing this. Now you can speed it up or slow it down. Okay, and then when you are finished, I mean, if you want to record audio, you could do that by hitting this. It'll give you a countdown, and then you can start recording. You can start recording. Here is one way to set up a great space for stop motion animation using a Chromebook. Raise up a book or some other surface that you can use as your ground and move around things on top of that. Okay, and then uh, most important, when you're finished, save and give it a name. You're going to notice that it saves as a WebM file. Since that stop motion animation file from the stop motion animator in the Chromebook was a WebM file, we're going to have to put this into our Google Drive to view it. So in Google Drive, click New file upload and then you're going to go to your downloads here's my downloads and this is my stop motion animation that one that i labeled trial open that okay and so now that that's loaded i can click it and then once it's done converting you'll be able to play it but this might take a few minutes the good news is once your video has loaded, you can then share it because it's in your Google Drive. So I have two stop motion videos now in my Google Drive. I have my candy video that I made using the stop motion studio app on my iPhone. And then I have my trial video that I made using the Chromebook extension. So for either of them, when I have my Schoology page open and I'm ready to turn this in. All I need is to copy and link that shareable link to turn it in. So I'd go into my drive. I'm going to click on the one that I want to submit. Let's say I want to submit this one here. I'm going to go to share. And I just need to make sure that I have my share setting so it's not restricted. So I'm going to change from restricted to anyone with the link can view. Okay, then I'll copy the link and go into Schoology. I'll click on this button here to put in my link. And then I can give it a title. I'm just going to write trial because that's what I called this and hit attach. Now I'll have to leave a comment as well so I could just put the name of it again. Oops, not trail, trial. And then click post. And there you have it. Okay, so now to open this up, the teacher or any other peers who look at this extra credit discussion will be able to click and open it up. So here we go. You can start recording. 
there you have it. Well, I hope you enjoy stop motion animation. I know I am. I hope this video helps you get started on your stop motion animation journey. Please let me know if you have any questions and leave a comment if you have found some other free stop motion animation software that you think I should check out. Thanks for watching. Bye.